Dave, welcome back. Hogs Daily Flight Brief. We say this is going to be a short topic. We think it's a short topic, but let's see how long we really go on. Key to a good auto rotation. And I want to start off with the objection that I get every time that I talk about this. I say it, I live by it, I train, I teach it. And the examiner that I've been using all these years always says, what's the key to a good approach? What's the key to a good straight in auto? What's the key to a good hover auto? The answer is always the same, a good setup. Then the objection is, well, the key to a good auto, yeah, that's all fine and good, but that's not real world. You don't get to set it up in the real world. <laughs> Do I say that with a little, <laughs> am I, have I been aggravated by, that, by those comments in the past? Let me, let me handle that objection right now. Yes, you need to go out and train in a real world environment. You're flying along, instructor cuts the uh, throttle or however you do it, which Chris is going to touch on that, I'm sure. And that's going to, as an upcoming video, we're going to discuss that and go at length. We train to a standard. You have to have a standard to go take the practical test. Currently under the PTS, that will become the ACS. You have to have fly to a standard. And we have to train students to a standard. It's also our job to take students out and give those students choices, like over open fields like we are right now. And we're going to go into that more. I just want to clarify, if you set up an auto and you set it up and it's nice, it's probably going to be nice. And the examiner has said to me, and I've heard him say it to students over and over again, if it takes you 10 minutes to get set up for the auto, it takes 10 minutes to get up for the, set up for the auto. He legitimately says that. He said, I'd rather you take your time and feel good about it and give me, an, uh, give me a good auto for this practical test today. That's the idea of training to a standard. Maybe you can give some, maybe give some of the real world side of what an instructor should do or whatever you, whatever you think. Well, Chris? training is all about building blocks, right? You have, a, have to have a good foundation. Yep in order to actually do it, right? right? So in the training world, we are having a good setup because what's happening is you're training your brain to do the motions, right? Yes. So, you know, we're having a good setup at the airport, getting ourselves lined up with the runway, you know, we're counting off three, two, one, we're entering the auto, you know, it's, it's all about good setup. It's all about getting the movements down with your hands, your mind, where you're looking, scanning, all that, that stuff. Absolutely. Um, now, once you have a good base and your student is, or the pilot is, has it, you know, the repetition down, you know, he understands the signs of an engine failure. He understands what he's going to do without thinking. Um, you know, then we're going to go out there and do that real world stuff. And yes. I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, as an instructor, when my when I'm training my guys to get ready for that check ride, when we're in that check ride prep phase, I may tell him, okay, let's go out here and we'll do a we'll set up for a confined area. And on the way to that confined area, I may roll the throttle off to simulate the engine failure. Sure. And we may have a tailwind, we may have a crosswind, we may be right into the wind. But he now has the, the practice and the foundation of, and the repetition, the memory uh, of what to do. Yes. You know, as soon as he recognizes that engine field, the needles are split, the, the nose is yaw to the right and the G2. Um, he knows, oh crap, I better lower that collective and get into an auto. And, yep. Oh yeah, where's the wind coming from? It, well, it's a tailwind, I need to make that turn. So yes, there is, we do need to have a good setup to start that um, to start the building blocks, to start that base of how to handle it. But there toward the end, we get into that training world where we'll just, I'll just do it. And you better take, you know, you better take the proper action, get into the wind, find that open area, whatever. So. That's right. You know, you know let's get in the comments. Let's fight it out, man. Let's, let's <laughs> fight this one out because I know I'm going to get those objections. No, I'm just kidding. Right. Comment whatever you like. Food for thought. We're bringing these daily videos up. We're giving you our opinions. We're giving what you think, or we think. No, we're telling you what to think. Right. No, we're giving you options to right. think about. It's food for thought. What works for one person in one part of the world might not work for a person in another Correct. part of the world. Yeah. Bottom line. But yeah, we know there's a difference between a good setup and all that, and in the real world, we we know that. But we can, right. if you have a good setup, 
that's only going to transition into the real world. The only so, thing the examiner cares about is the practical test standards that will be the airman certification standards. And my examiner buddy of 20 years, we're flying him home one day in an airplane, and the pilot says, but hey, uh, is it very hard to decide whether a student passes or fails? And he goes, ever heard of the PTS? <laughs> and, yeah, and, and, and the airplane pilot went, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, that was his only thing. Ever heard of the PTS? Yeah. Got to fly to a standard. Got to fly to the standard. Awesome. So we're going to do some more auto rotation videos, and we'll touch on these things a little more in depth with each one. But they're coming up. Straight in auto. Auto with 90 degree turns. Auto is 180 degree turns in one swooping turn or two 90 degree turns. Power failure at altitude. Those are all coming up. And we're going to do them. We're going to shoot them. We're going to fly them. We're going to talk about them. Then we're going to do that real world go out and oh, we're flying along and not like right now. We're turning and like, boom, engine failure. What am I going to do? Those are coming up. Go down below for a free maneuver guide. Helicopter maneuver guide. Go down below to sign up for a helicopter line ground school membership. We have a 24 test flight on our monthly memberships. 24 hours. View the whole entire site. Not a sample like the other guys. View our entire site. Any membership. 24 hours. No charge. Then you decide whether it's right for you or... That's not right for you right now. We part as friends. That's simple. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and we'll see you in the next video for Straight In Auto Rotation. Next one coming up. Peace out. Okay. We always think they're going to be short, and they're never short. Yeah. They always go. I think oh, we can do this in like two minutes. Yeah. So are we, we're, so how do you want to...